Hello, welcome to the Mark Janard Show, the cybersecurity show. Let's talk about the best Linux distributions. These are the best. Argue with your mom if you disagree. Without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. Number one, we have the Linux Mint, right? And that offers a familiar Windows-like interface, extensive software library, and is user-friendly for beginners. It has an active community and long-term support. Number two, Ubuntu. One of the most popular and well-known Linux distros, Ubuntu has a user-friendly interface and large software repository. It's a great choice for beginners and intermediate users. Number three, Zorin OS, and it was designed to make the transition from Windows easy. Zorin OS has a similar look and feel. It's free for personal use and has a paid commercial license. Number four, Pop. All right, pop <laughs> exclamation mark underscore OS, and it was developed by System76. Pop exclamation mark underscore OS is a great option for gaming on Linux. It has good hardware compatibility and comes with NVIDIA drivers pre installed. Number five, Fedora. Based on the Red Hat distribution, Fedora is known for its stability and security. It's a good choice for developers and power users. Number six, Debian. The rock solid foundation for many other distros, Debian is stable, secure, and has vast software repository. It's a good choice for servers and advanced users. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. Please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and the like button. When choosing a Linux distribution, consider factors like ease of use, software availability, hardware compatibility, and your ideal specific needs. The best distro is the one that fits your requirements and preferences. Now, in my opinion, Linux Mint is better than Ubuntu, and here is, you know, advantages, right? So lower this lower memory usage, like Linux Mint with the Cinnamon desktop, uses less memory and CPU compared to Ubuntu and Genome, making it more lightweight and responsive, especially on older hardware. Number two, it's faster and more user-friendly. In that regard, the software manager, Linux, Linux Mint software manager is lighter, quicker, and more efficient for installing applications compared to Ubuntu software center. Then there are more features for managing software sources. Linux Mint provides additional options like removing foreign, removing foreign packages, admit, um, adding missing keys, and eliminating duplicate entries when managing repositories. Lastly, better out the box customization. Linux Mint allows changing themes directly from system settings without extra tools. It offers a wide range of community themes for easy personalization. That's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe. See you on the next video.